In this video, we will be repairing a Samsung SyncMaster 214T, uh, 21 and a half inch uh, LCD monitor with a bad power supply. Um, the most common point of failure on these monitors are the capacitors on the power supply. Um, this video will show you how to disassemble the unit and do the repair work to get your monitor back to life. Uh, first thing that you need to do is remove the power cables and the video cables. Uh, the next thing to do would be to remove the four screws that hold the monitor to the stand. So we'll gently set the monitor down and remove the four Phillips screws. Okay, once the screws are removed, just remove the stand, set it to the side. Okay, that is all the screws that are involved in the case, so we'll turn the monitor over. The easiest way to get the um, plastics off of the case is to grab the, the center of the monitor tilt it a little bit and just lift up. The case will start separating and then you just work your way around. And then you can tilt out the monitor. Uh, in the front corner where the power control cables or power control um, panel resides is a small cable and you can unplug that from uh, the display and remove that and you gently turn the monitor back over and then you can remove the back of the monitor. Now we have to remove the RF shield before we can get to the electronics board. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is remove and unplug this little cable it does have a small uh, clamp on the end, so you need to squeeze it before you remove it. Then we'll remove these screws. There's two screws here, two black screws. And then on each end, there are screws, there are two screws on each end, so we need to remove those next. Those two. Turn the monitor over. Second two. Now um, hold the monitor. Make sure that the panel does not slide out of the enclosure. Set it back down, and you should be able to lift the cover off. Now we have the two boards. This is the CPU control board. This is the power supply board. This is the board that we'll be working on to revive the monitor. Um, there's going to be five screws holding it in place. So you need to remove those five screws. And there's one cable that goes from the power supply board to the CPU control board. It has a, again, a squeeze connector on it, so you squeeze and pull it out. 